Hi boys and girls, welcome. So today we are actually going to be doing a uh, cup weaving. So I have a paper cup here, a ball of yarn. I put these two materials inside of your uh, little Ziploc bag or your um, seal bag. The only thing that you'll need from your materials are a pair of scissors. And um, we actually need the scissors to cut strips on this cup here. And uh, something that uh, you need to know that's very important is that there should be, by the end of the cut strips, by the time you finish cutting these little strips, um, there should be an odd number. So I actually marked my paper cup here approximately by inches. And I just put two fingers down and made a little made a little um, sort of like a little dash there to to indicate where I'm going to cut downwards so you'll also need a pencil or a color pencil or some kind of marker where you can see the markings that you've created I'll actually do that with a different cup so you can see how to do this process so with my pencil here my cup here uh, so I marked one mark, put two fingers down, I marked the second, two fingers, marked the third, two, I put two fingers down on, and where I'm putting the two fingers is I'm actually putting it right after the pencil line that I created. Make another line, put my finger down again right after the, the little line that I created put my two fingers down after the line that I just created and I have one more to go so let me put a star here I'm actually going to count them this is one two three four five six seven eight oh that's not going to work so I actually have to make sure that I somehow let's erase this line and make two lines there. Okay, so let me count it one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, so now that I have nine spaces, so I'm counting the spaces in between the lines, I'm going to go ahead and start cutting. And I'm not going to cut all the way because I want this paper cup to be manageable. I'm actually going to cut where the blue ends. So I'm cutting straight down or straight up because I'm holding the cup upside down up to where the blue ends there and I'll do that to the next line that I created. I'll do it to the next line that I created. So again you need odd number of strips to be able to weave back and forth in. And we are weaving with yarn. Okay. So now that I have my nine strips here, I'm going to take my yarn and I'm going to make a knot around one of these strips so I'm going to actually come inside of the cup on the outside I'll make the knot and I want to go all the way to the edge of that blue make the knot just like you would make a knot with shoelaces it's just a regular knot here so now, uh, when you go, we when you do weaving, it's a repetition. It's a process of uh, repeated steps here. So we have to pretend, or we have to say that this string is above this strip. So the next one, we have to go underneath the strip. So that one is underneath, and I'm bringing the yarn all the way to the to the edge here. Now that I've gone over under. I'll go over again and then so this goes over 
So then I'll go under the next one, over the following one, under the next one, over, under, and this one is over. So now I have to go under that very first one that we started off. Okay, so something to keep in mind. Um, this might get difficult, especially if you're not used to doing this kind of thing. So what I suggest is you're holding it with your less dominant hand. So my dominant hand is my right hand. I write and I draw with my right. So my left, I'm holding the cup and also when I go over one of the strips, I hold with my thumb. Not very hard, I don't wanna squish it. Just hold it a little bit so it stays in place. So when you go underneath the next strip, it's easier to bring up. And you have to make sure that the string or the yarn stays nice and tight. There shouldn't be any looseness or any flapping yarn anywhere. And also I suggest that you continue to push the yarn upwards so none of this blue will be showing after when you're finished. So I went under this strip, I have to go over this one, holding the yarn with my left, under, pull it up, I'm pulling it up, over, holding the yarn with my left thumb, I'm going behind the next And I'm pulling it up, making sure it's nice and tight. Over, hold it with your thumb. This string is going underneath or behind the next strip. And now I'm back to the beginning. This is the beginning one. So I'm going to go over that again. So you're just going to do this until you run out of yarn or until you go all the way to the top of the cup okay I know it, it looks like a lot but it's not that much and if you continue to do this the way that I'm telling you it should be easy enough and you should be able to finish maybe in 20 minutes or so take your time make sure that you are keeping the, the string nice and tight make sure it's not flopping around too much I uh, rolled it into a nice ball so it doesn't get tangled up for you but if it does start getting tangled up take a break maybe cut off whatever is getting tangled and you can start again just by tying the string to any section and doing the process of over under over under okay so as I continue doing this I noticed that some of this string is not going upwards so I'll go ahead and just push it a little bit and I have to make sure that I push all of them up because they're all connected and if I move one string on one side I have to move all of them because they all move together they should all move together because it's one string okay I know uh, it seems like a lot of work but you can do it okay guys Good luck.